Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be discussing ternary expressions in JavaScript. Ternary expressions are pretty complicated, so let's get started. A ternary expression is an extremely short and special kind of if statement that you can use in JavaScript or many other languages. After watching this tutorial, you'll be able to use ternary expressions to make your code more brief and in places more clear, not just in JavaScript, but in whatever language you use. Now, let's uh, create a regular if statement first. So we'll define a variable, var a equals three, and we'll make an if statement. If a is greater than two, red else blue. Now, you probably knew it was going to happen because a, as we just defined at 3, is greater than 2. So if you understood that, you're probably going to understand the next thing. We're going to rewrite that as a ternary expression. Starting to make a bit of sense? A ternary expression looks as follows. It's an expression that evaluates to true or false, followed by a question mark, followed by what is returned if the expression is true, and then a colon, followed by what's returned by the expression is false. So if we change a and we say a equals 1, what do you think is going to be returned by this ternary statement? It's blue. There isn't a whole lot more to ternary statements than that, but let's do one more just to make sure we understand. So a ternary statement can be used in place of any value, unlike an if statement. Let's see how that works. So we're going to find an object, var object equals um, value, and we're going to use a ternary statement here. So we'll say math.random is greater than 0.5 and then we'll give it a value of blue or green and if we look at object it has a value green now your object might have a different value depending on how your math random turned out but you'll notice we use a ternary statement in line there so ternary statements can be used anywhere whereas if statements can't Therefore, they're a bit more powerful right out, right out of the box. Let's do one more. Ternary statements can be used in variable assignments. So we're going to make a simple ternary statement to assign a uh, variable. So we'll say var a equals math.random is greater than 0.5 and we'll make it equal to B or C, depending. And A, and my A turned out to be equal to B, which makes a lot of sense. So I hope you've learned a bit about ternary statements in this video. Uh, they're very handy, but you have to remember, now that you know them, use them sparingly when you're working with other coders, because ternary statements can make your code opaque if you're not using them correctly. Hope that helped. Have a good day.